Sometimes we want to test part of our application which is dependent on another part of it and it might not be practical to execute the code in the other part of the application. In these scenarios you can replace that functionality with fake functionality. That's what I'll do here using a mock. In this example I'm not testing my database so rather than query it I simply get a mock product repository to give me test data to work with instead and the real functionality is bypassed. I'm able to test that I can add products to an inventory and then check the contents of that inventory without actually touching the database. And so I've avoided triggering functionality which I didn't need to and I've also written a test which will run quickly. To learn more on this subject and expand your skills, click the link for the full lesson.